This is Gary the Herald, and this is my review of Bungo Stray Dogs Season 2, Episode 16. Uh, so, in this episode, we find out that the Gifted Special Ops Division and the Port Mafia bosses are me meeting to discuss getting rid of Mimic, and they grant uh, the Port Mafia a permit to have gifted individuals. So this whole scene when Oda decides to get serious, uh, it's very similar to the ending scene of Cowboy Bebop when Spike decides that he needs to basically go kill Vicious. Um, and he pretty much doesn't need to do this, but he does it anyways. Uh, so this is where it differs. So Spike goes to go meet with his end basically and he tells everybody that I'm not going there to die I'm going there to see if I'm alive in contrast Oda is there because it, he feels that it's all over since he dis, he started killing people he can't be a writer and that was his ultimate goal so in contrast Oda pretty much is done he he's has given up his will to live anymore um and Dazai kind of has the role of like Faye or Jet, where they're basically telling him, why are you, why are you still going? You don't need to. Um, and Dazai explains that he joined the Port Mafia to find a reason to live. Um, and he feels that that's a good enough reason to stop um, Oda, but it doesn't work out that way. So in the next scene, it's very similar to the scene in Cowboy Bebop, specifically the church scene, uh, because Oda loads up with all kinds of pistols and weapons, and he brings grenades with them, which I thought was funny because it's exactly what Spike does. Um, he blows up all a bunch of mimic guys in, in a similar way. So when he's trying to do this, um, it switches to Dazai, and he's trying to confront the Port Mafia boss. Because he feels like there's something going on. Um, he wants to ask for permission to go help Oda. But for some reason, the, the Port Mafia boss doesn't want him to stop him. So we find out that everything was orchestrated by the Port Mafia boss. That Mimic was invited to that country by Port Mafia boss. That he orchestrated getting the permit. Because that is all that was important to him. Get, by getting the gifted business permit he has free reign to do whatever he wants with his organization uh, he doesn't have to fear about the special ops um, organization anymore because of this and he's going to use Oda as a pawn to kill Gita so this upsets Dazai and he doesn't care that the boss tells him no he's still going to go help they even threatened to like shoot him, but Dazai is basically like, I don't think you can stop me. I don't think you can shoot me because I don't think you want to do this. So he pretty much leaves, but I don't think it's going to be in time. So what happens is eventually Oda confronts Gita uh, and explains his past. It's kind of similar to the story of Metal Gear Solid 3, if anybody's played that. Big Mama, the main um, enemy, um, gets blamed like a scapegoat um, for all the problems. But basically, she was ordered to do this. Uh, in the same way, uh, Snake uh, was ordered to kill Big Mama, and he became a hero that way. So, in a similar sense, Gita was following his orders, and then they were blamed as scapegoats. Basically, half their soldiers were killed um, because they were they were shown as traitors, basically. So it explains that from that point on, they were roaming the world, basically trying to find their last battle. And that's why it's come to this. And now Oda can't hold back because they took away his reason for living. And they're pretty much matched up. They try to use their powers, but they come to the conclusion that uh, they're going to cancel each other out and now it's going to be based on their skill with the gun. And surprisingly, they, they match each other 
um, blow for blow. Um, unluckily, they both shoot each other. And Oda's dying, and Dazai just shows up at the last minute. And he knows he's going to die. Uh, Dazai kind of like is in denial and hopes that he could save him still. But Oda knows that he's going to die. Um, and now Dazai doesn't know what to do. Um, but Oda, with his final wish, he asks that Dazai, if he can't decide which side is better, if it doesn't make a difference whether he's on the bad side or if he's on the good side, that Dazai should be on the good side and help people. So that's what makes Dazai quit the Port Mafia and also later on join up with the armed detective agency. So it's a good wrap up of this arc because it explains uh, what Dazai's past was, why he just abruptly left the Port Mafia, and why he decided to go on that. Because it's a big drastic change from being a Port Mafia people person to helping people and doing different little tasks. It just seems like a big difference, especially since he was an executive. Um, he was carrying out killings and who knows what. I mean, they didn't have to explain what he was doing, basically. Um, we saw various things happen throughout this uh, arc. Overall, it was a really good um, episode. Um, I really liked how they tied it back to the future. And then, of course, they explained, you know what, if four years later, that's when Dazai joins the armed detective agency. So in the next episode, obviously, we're probably going to be back at the present to where we left off. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what's next. We'll probably get introduced to the guild. Maybe we'll get their backstory. Um, but overall, it was really great. Um, so like always, comment below, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you next time.